The Liebherr T264 is a big mining truck. It weighs 228 tonnes and fully loaded it weighs nearly 400 tonnes. It's not the biggest mining truck that Conrad have modelled though. Here it is alongside the bigger T282B. And that model has been previously reviewed on Cranes Etc. Back to the T264 and it comes in a big Liebherr branded box. It consists of the usual pair of expanded polystyrene trays. And inside we start with a simple instruction sheet and that explains how the staircase gets fitted to the front of the truck. Beyond that there are only two things in the box. One is the staircase and the other is the mining truck. It is securely packed and it is quite a tight fit. That combined with its heavy weight obviously presents our unpacking operative with something of a challenge. But like all Cranes Etc employees, the minimum wage is more than enough to get the performance that we see. The only item of assembly is to fit the stairs on the front and that's easy to do because it presses into place. Well it is easy but unfortunately the Cranes Etc assembly operative needs some recalibration in the brain department. But at least he gets there in the end. Underneath the model has very heavy construction mainly in metal and that does justice to the nature of the real machine. The rubber tyres are nice and a good detail is the exposed disc brakes on the front wheels. Particularly nice on the front of the model is the fine mesh grille and the detailed lights. Up on the cab deck there's some fire extinguisher equipment and the cabinets have some detailing. The cab is fairly simple, it's got indicator lights on top and the mirror does not have a silvered surface. The big exhaust pipes look good and there's also a payload indicator on both sides of the cab deck. Another nice touch on the model is the big mud flaps which are flexible rubber. Under the dump body some of the major components are modelled. And at the back the big heavy rear axle certainly looks impressive. The big dump body has the structure modelled well and there are rock deflectors and lights. It's usually hard to see a real mining truck in real life, but there was a T264 at the Balmer exhibition in 2013. This allowed a close look at some of the details of the real machine, and it also allows you to see that the Conrad model is a pretty good representation of those details. We've said it's a heavy model, so let's put it on the Cranes Etc payload indicator. And it clocks in at nearly 3 kilograms or 6.5 pounds. Despite its weight it rolls very smoothly. And looking underneath the engineering of the steering is very good. And the AA frame suspension system works well too. So it's heavy model engineering and Conrad has done a good job with it. At the back the wheels spin separately which is nice and there's also very good suspension. Another feature at the back is that there are pivoting rock deflectors and they stop rocks getting jammed between the rear tyres. So with the truck the right way up we will test the suspension and the good news is it all works in a very satisfying way. One of the nice things on the model is to see how the front disc brakes have been implemented. The disc inside rotates but the brake calipers do not so it's very good. And while we're at it let's check the steering angle too and that's very good also. The next feature to test is the tipping mechanism. It's controlled by a pair of big two-stage cylinders and they are very stiff. But we don't employ weaklings at cranes etc so just look at that show of strength. With the tipper up you can have a look underneath and to close it the cylinders are equally stiff. And the only thing you have to watch for is that the mud flaps don't get caught as you lower the body. So that's the big features at the other end of the scale are small features. And the metal handrails have two opening gates. Let's now load up the truck in the ungenuine, nothing like real life test. And here the massive Cranes Etc arm loader fills the truck body with giant limestone rocks. Well after that shambles of an exercise let's try a genuine imitation real life test and let's test out the tipping action. Well there's always one rock that wants to come out last, but the tipping action is very good because the angle is nice and steep. And here we have the truck loaded the way it should be loaded, and that is with a giant Liebherr 9800 mining excavator. 
This is another big well-made mining truck by Conrad. And it's also nice because the detail level is very good. For an impressive model display it also looks great with a big mining excavator. Overall the T264 is highly recommended.